Right, here we are back at Ruskin Drive for the first time this year. Happy New Year to everyone. Platy, big game, couple of bad results lately. Um, players back today, so confidence? Um, I don't know about confidence, but we, um, we've got a few players back. Um, I've got confidence that these are good players and that we can play well. As we've seen, we can, we can beat some good teams on our day. Um, what we're obviously striving for is that consistency. Um, bad game last week. Um, and I'm not going to blame people coming in because there was, it was bad performance all across the pitch. Um, so we've really got to take that on the chin. We've got to look to see how we can create a consistency and a way of playing that that gets us results. Um, we've obviously three months in now from when I, when I came in and we've played various different ways, some more successful than others. What works one week doesn't work the next week. So we're, um, we're constantly striving to find that, that right formula, that right connection. Um, so, a couple of changes again today. Um, we've signed Jacob Mangan from Skemmersdale, so he comes into the side today, starts for the first time. Um, Moses is dropping from centre mid into centre back. Um, and we're just trying a few different things. Um, young Wes Nelson's back, he was out injured with a bit of a septic knee. Um, so, he's back, he's on the bench today, but hopefully, he comes in. Um, and then, big, big mention for young Steve Brown. We had an injury um, just pre match there. Um, Steve Brown stepped up from the reserves, and he's going to—he's uh, 16 years old and um, possibly making his first team debut today. So, um, that's exciting things to come from him. Hopefully, excellent, Platy. Excellent. It's good. I think what, what we've also what we always realised from day one is the uh, the team spirit. It's been superb. Whether we've been losing or winning, the lads all seem to be together, which is a good sign. A um, couple of away games coming up as well. Blackpool Tuesday, Bake Up Saturday. Tough time of year, um, so let's just uh, let's just hope things go as it should, and uh, can only do what you can do. Yeah, we um, away games are tough. I was looking at the stats on the website on the league website of the other day, and we're something like forty odd percent win rate at home and nine percent away, which is shocking. And one of our wins actually came against Shelley, in a really good result in back in November, I think it was. So um, yeah, a couple of. Well, two or three away games coming up, and we've we've really got to we've got to find that way of playing away away, away from the, the smooth three G and um, and yeah, get a good result. So starts today, every, everything starts today again, and we we work hard and we see what we can get. Excellent stuff. Appreciate your time again, David. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks. So what? Uh, to Ruskin Drive and today for North West County Division 1 North Lipshire between St. Helens Town and Shelley. Today's teams are as follows. Starting with our visitors in goal number one, Paul Day, two, Alan Greenwood, three, Jack Tinker, four, and Captain Anthony Leach, five, Adam Daffer, six, Daniel Keane, seven, Matthew Waller, eight, Joshua Dyson, nine, Samuel. Make sure the keeper stays on his line, ref! Yes! 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 Uh, it was a tough one, um, tough to take that late result going against us. Um, not a lot of class on show, I thought, from either team. Both teams can play better football than that, I'm pretty sure. Um, but both teams did try really hard, worked hard, um, put a lot of effort in um, to lose it. So late was harsh. Um, I did feel the goal was offside. Chatting to the bench, the players as we shook hands at the end. I think the pretty much the general consensus when it was offside, but uh, sometimes that doesn't go for you, does it? Um, but yeah, that aside, obviously the time of the goal, we just scored the penalty. We'd been on top for a few minutes, five, good five or ten minutes spell. Um, and I, I don't know, I, I guess we switched off. We're looking, people are looking up the pitch, let's get the winner. Um, and really we've just got to make sure that you keep it tight because the ball's with them, the kickoff's with them. Um, and they, they pushed on and they got the winner, so fair play. Um, for us, um, it was a gritty performance. I've seen the efforts off the lads a lot better than um, the week before against um, Steeton. 
um, and hopefully something we can build on. Um, not necessarily take confidence from, because obviously it's, it's still a defeat. But if we can build on some of those performances, move a couple of things around, um, you know, build on what we did well and try and do, do away with what we didn't do well, then yeah, um, hopefully we can push on and progress and um, do a bit better going forward. And what are your thoughts about the upcoming games with Blackpool midweek and Bake Up after the weekend? Um, they'll be tricky, tricky ties. Um, Blackpool are doing pretty well at the moment. Um, you know, upper half of the table. Um, Bake Up, one good result one week, one, one not so good the next. So, um, you know, I guess it depends what team we find on the day playing against us. Um, but that can be said the same of us, can't it? So, um, I think Blackpool will be very tricky going away midweek. Um, and yeah, I think we've just got to find, we've got to find a way of playing a way that, that gets us these results. Um, the way we're playing at home, win or lose, we're pretty, pretty okay. Most games, you know, we, we show ourselves in the game and we're competitive. Um, I think there's only really the Garstang game where we weren't competitive. Um, and every other game we have been win or lose. Um, but going away is a different story, and we need to we need to certainly tight, tighten that up and, and play a lot better. And as you look forward to those games, obviously there've been a few injuries of late. Can you give the fans any updates on that? Um, yes, yeah, so we obviously um, a couple of injuries. Um, Danny Lomax um, was a major one. Injured himself in the, in the derby on Boxing Day against Pilkington. Um, he's iron to return at the end of the month, but we, we've got to see yet. He, he obviously needs to get back in training and see how it reacts to, to more vigorous exercise. Um, Andy Webster, he had like a knee dislocation. Um, it's coming along really well. He's come to training, um, just like training, working on his own. Um, he he come and warmed up today, um, but again, he needs to he needs to get in and train a little bit and see some action first before he's confident to put that into a game situation. Um, other than that, um, Joe Clark is one. He's got a couple of games under his belt now. We're building him steadily, um, increasing his minutes every week. Um, and then and then everybody else is, is just minor, minor little niggles, I think. Um, Jordan. Jordan's a, a big one. Um, Meniscus injury, um, had a scan, looks like he's going to get some injections. Um, hopefully that works out for him and we can have him back sooner rather than later. Um, obviously there's goal threat. And then obviously we're, um, we're looking to improve the squad in a couple of other ways. The first part of that was Jacob Mangan, a um, young centre-back we brought back from Skemmersdale. Played for us last year. Um, and there's a couple of other irons in the fire. Uh, um, will be familiar faces to everybody once they, once they return. Obviously we can't. Can't really name any names just yet, but hopefully that all gets across the line and, and it looks good. Um, important thing for us is really to have a good second half of the season, build some confidence in the squad, um, develop the younger players. We had young Steve Brown on the bench today. He'll get some game time that, in this season. Lewis Ferns has played for us. He's done well. Um, you know, Louis Peterson, Luke Diggle, and players like this who have come through, who've, who've played for a Sunday 11 under 21s reserve team and um, they're going to do really big things for us in the next couple of years so we'll just keep developing those lads um, build the squad as we can um, and the aim for us is to be competitive come, come the start of next season but um, the way to do that is to win as many games as we can this season um, build the atmosphere in the squad build the momentum um, and make it a place that people want to come and play so yeah um, all in all I'm, I'm positive. Um, I know a couple of couple of tough weeks, but um, the overall picture of the club's looking pretty good. Um, a lot of people pulling in the right direction. So yeah, all good. All good for my end. Great. Thanks for your time, Dave. Good luck for next yeah, week. No problem. Thank you.